Hey everyone, Ken Pulse and the Data Monkey back again for another episode of Monkey Shorts where we're going to talk about column profiling inside Power Query. Now today you'll see that I'm working with Power BI, but all of these techniques will also work inside Excel, at least providing you're on a new enough version. If you don't see this group on the View tab, it means that you need to get onto a newer version of Excel. Now you'll notice here that in my column three, I've got a little red error here and it's showing because there's an error inside the column. But I'd like to figure out a little bit more of the statistics around what's going on in here. So I'm going to turn on this little column quality indicator. And you'll notice that that tells me saying column four, 80% of my data is valid. There's no errors and I've got 20% of the cells are empty. But over in column three, you'll notice that all I have is 3% of errors and I don't see anything else around the statistics. And this is the challenge when there's an error in the column, it actually blows up Power Query's ability to calculate the valid and empty statistics. So we need to get rid of that error to get these stats back. Now on their own, these stats here aren't particularly interesting to me, but what is more interesting is when I can get into looking at the column distribution. As I'm trying to design dimension tables and figure out what would make a good primary key, it's really important for me to know if I have a column that is entirely made up of distinct and unique values. Distinct being naturally occurring values like dog, cat, mouse, and monkey, where unique is a value that only shows up in that column once and once only. But notice that my column profiling tools don't work for this column. And that's again because there's an error in here. So I'm going to deal with this error. I'm going to go right click and in this data set, I'm just going to replace it with a null value. You might need to filter them out or something like that. And as soon as I do that, and I've got no errors, boom, the little charts pop up. Now I have also seen for reference where uh, an any data type can actually cause these to blow up. So at that point, you know, set something to text just so you can figure out what's going on inside things. And you might need to refresh the preview. One more thing I wanna show you is how do I figure out what that unique value is? So I'm gonna go select column one and click on column profile. And that brings up a value distribution down here as well as some column statistics. We know that we only have one unique value and this little chart shows me that monkey shows up the least amount of times. Therefore, I know that this is my unique value in this area. If I go and look at column two, I can actually see that I've got many less mangoes than I do apples. So it's just kind of some interesting summary information, not deep, but that's okay. Now, I will say that I personally find these a little bit uh, intrusive when I'm dealing with data. They take up a lot of space. So typically when I'm working with Power Query, I run with column quality and column distribution off. This little band is enough to tell me whether or not I've got errors, but then I can go and click on the individual columns and I will actually pop up the column profile as I need. But if I go and actually select multiple columns, that column profile goes away. So I don't really have to worry about it. So hopefully you'll find that tip a little bit useful. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.